One other thing I wanted to share with you real quickly, and then I'll pick up your phone calls here. This is uh, the prosecutors, the federal prosecutor, you know, they've arrested 400 plus people for, for uh, uh, sedition or variations thereof on, you know, uh, attacking the U.S. Capitol to try to murder the vice president and murder the, sec the uh, Speaker of the House and, and to uh, bring to a halt the proceedings of certifying the election. That a lot of these people who are facing some substantial sentences, I mean 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 years in prison, are refusing to cut plea deals. And the prosecutor has been trying to figure out why. I mean, normally when you arrest four or 500 people and every single one of them is facing decades in prison, um, you know, some sub substantial portion of them cut plea deals. I think over 90% of all criminal cases in the United States are, re are resolved with plea deals. I mean, it's, it's a huge number. And in the case of the January 6th insurrectionists, that number is like, it's running around 2%. Why? Well, it turns out, Scott McFarlane uh, reporting on this, he says, uh, one defense attorney handling some U.S. Capitol insurrectionists cases tells me that there's a complication for plea agreement negotiations. He says, some defendants think that Trump is going to swoop in and save them. They still believe that Trump is still president and that the Biden presidency, he's, uh, I, I saw one clip where one of them said, oh, he's just cleaning things up. That's just Trump through Biden or Trump letting Biden kind of clean things up, you know, put our infrastructure back in place and, you know, give people some unemployment benefits. These are all things that are fine with Trump that, 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 that Biden's doing, not to worry. But when the, when the rubber hits the road, when the time really comes, Trump will come back out and reassert that he's president. When he does, he's gonna pardon everybody. I mean, look at all the people he, he pardoned, Mike Flynn. You know, a guy who, who was clearly a, you know, a, a traitor was taking money from foreign governments while he was our national security advisor. I you pardon Paul Manafort, who took, you know, committed massive tax fraud, took tens of millions of dollars from, from, from uh, Russian and Ukrainian oligarchs and, and did their nasty work for decades. And he pardoned him. I mean, you know, look at the people he pardoned. He's clearly going to pardon us. So we don't have to do plea deals, just like Roger Stone didn't have to do a plea deal or, uh, you know, uh, None of these guys had to plead to do. The only, the only guy who did a plea deal was Michael Cohen. And he's out there warning us that Trump is going to flip. Everybody's asking, you know, is Ivanka going to flip on Donald? Is Don Jr.? Is Eric going to flip on Donald? Is, uh, you know, Weisselberg is the, the, the CFO, the, the, the head bookkeeper going to flip on him? Uh, Cohen comes out and says, eh, you guys are asking the wrong question. It's, is Trump going to flip on them? Trump is going to claim, oh, Alan Weisselberg, I just trusted him to do what was right. Oh, Ivanka, you know, we, we gave her that $700,000 in consulting fees. We figured she reported it. Uh, the, you know, uh, Don Jr. and Eric, all, all, all those times that they committed fraud, you know, selling our properties, that was them. That wasn't me. None of this was my idea. All that money from Deutsche Bank, that, that was uh, Anthony Kennedy's son. That was Justin Kennedy's fault. This is the prediction that Cohen has, and I think he may well be right. I think he may well be entirely right.